Welcome back to Immortal News. This morning, on October 7th, we remember and pay tribute to 10 illustrious legends who have recently departed. Their stories and the enduring legacies they've left behind will be our focus today. But first, we delve into an important update on Cameron Matheson, the celebrated general hospital actor. We'll bring you the latest on his valiant fight against kidney cancer, offering insight and information. If our content resonates with you, please show your support with a like. And if you believe these stories deserve a wider audience, don't hesitate to share this video. Your support drives our dedication to keeping you informed. From everyone at Immortal News, thank you for being an integral part of our community. Shauna Trupsik, crafting universes through costume design in Star Wars Saga and beyond. Shauna Trupsik, the acclaimed costume designer whose genius illuminated the intricate worlds of Star Wars series, such as The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, and Ahsoka, passed away unexpectedly at the age of 56 in Palm Desert. The mystery of her sudden departure on October 6, 2023, has left Hollywood and fans worldwide in profound sorrow. Born on October 18, 1966, in Artesia, California, Shauna's journey to becoming a pivotal figure in film costume design was far from predictable. Initially envisioning a career as a truck driver during her high school years, an inspiring art teacher redirected her passion towards the arts. Her academic pursuit at the Otis College of Art and Design shaped her future, even leading her to work alongside the legendary Bob Mackey. By 1990, Dirapsic's name began appearing as a costume designer in film credits. However, it was her involvement with Lucasfilm Productions from 2019, starting with The Mandalorian's second season, that catapulted her to international recognition. Beyond the Star Wars realm, her brilliance is evident in a myriad of projects. From the cabin in the woods to dollhouse, Shauna's designs did more than merely dress characters. They narrated stories, bringing to life entire civilizations and histories. Ahsoka creator Dave Filoni profoundly stated, Her costumes tell a story, providing the suggestion of a life experience that happened before the cameras rolled. Her commitment to storytelling earned her three Emmy nominations and a Costume Designers Guild Award. Her legacy extends beyond her work. She leaves behind her daughter Sarah and son Joseph. As tributes pour in from industry peers like John Favreau, one sentiment remains clear. Shauna's artistic contribution to film and her warm, radiant spirit will be remembered forever. Tributes to Shauna Turipsic. Lauren Cunningham, a global missionary beacon and visionary founder of YWAM. Lauren Cunningham, whose profound vision birthed the globally recognized youth with a mission, peacefully passed away from cancer at 88 in his Kona, Hawaii residence. Born in California in 1935, a divine calling beckoned him at the tender age of 13. By 1956, he received a compelling vision of young missionaries enveloping the globe, marking the genesis of his transformative journey. In 1960, Cunningham's steadfast faith and undying commitment gave rise to YWAM. Today, this missionary behemoth boasts about 2,000 chapters, gracing almost every nation and influencing countless lives. Many acknowledge YWAM as a luminary in global missionary endeavors. Cunningham's legacy isn't confined to YWAM alone. His leadership catalyzed several Christian initiatives such as YWAM Olympic Outreaches, YWAM Ships, and the University of the Nations. An accomplished author, his works like Is That Really You, God? and The Book That Transforms Nations continue to inspire. The announcement of his stage 4 cancer diagnosis earlier this year evoked immense emotion within the global Christian community. Yet, in the face of adversity, the family's primary focus remained on preserving the quality of Lauren's life, emphasizing his rich life filled with Jesus, vision, family, and friends. He leaves behind a monumental legacy, deeply cherished by his wife of six decades, Darlene, children David, Karen, and Judy, and three grandchildren. Tributes to Lauren Cunningham.
Morris Burg, a melodic beacon in classical music. Maurice Bourg, the prodigious French oboist, composer, and conductor, left behind a legacy that will resonate through the corridors of classical music for ages to come. Departing on the 6th of October, 2023, at the age of 83, his life was a grand opus of achievements and passion. Educated at the esteemed Conservatoire de Paris, Maurice clinched first prizes for both oboe and chamber music by 1959. The world noticed as he garlanded his career with accolades from international stages spanning Geneva to Budapest. In 1967, the eminent Charles Munch brought Bourg into the Orchestre de Paris, where his melodies as the solo oboist enchanted many till 1979. While he collaborated with maestros like Claudio Abado, Bourg's heart also beat for education. As the director of the Sandorve Institute for Chamber Music, he sculpted young minds from Paris to Kyoto. His championing of works from composers like Berio and Dutelu showcased his unwavering commitment to evolving music. His life, a harmonious blend of artistry and dedication, will remain a beacon for aspiring musicians. His melodies might have ceased, but their echo will forever linger in the world of classical music. Tributes to Maurice Borg. Breaking news, Cameron Matheson's valiant journey through kidney cancer battle and beyond. Canadian-American actor and esteemed General Hospital star Cameron Matheson stands as a beacon of inspiration for countless fans and fellow actors. Diagnosed with renal cell carcinoma in 2019, Matheson's journey through the tumultuous waves of cancer has been one of grit, hope, and relentless perseverance. Post his diagnosis, the actor promptly underwent a pivotal surgery. The procedure, known as a partial nephrectomy, aimed to remove the threatening tumor while preserving as much of his kidney as possible. The operation was a success, with 80% of his kidney intact. Cameron didn't just stop at recovery. Recognizing the importance of holistic wellness, he engaged a health coach to refine and understand his overall well-being. He shared with People magazine, in the last 14 months, I've learned more about my own specific health challenges and growth than probably in decades before. While many would understandably retreat to focus solely on personal healing, Matheson's perspective broadened. This newfound knowledge sparked an earnest desire to aid others navigating their health battles. He remarked on the importance of extending the help and knowledge he received, highlighting a responsibility to the larger community. Beyond his personal wellness, Matheson's journey was cushioned with immense support from fans globally. Through social media platforms like Instagram, he regularly updated followers on his progress, sharing poignant moments like a post-surgery picture surrounded by his children, which spoke volumes of his gratitude. The General Hospital actor's story serves as a poignant reminder of the strength that lies in community and the transformative power of a positive perspective. Having been in the daytime television industry for over 25 years, Cameron treasures the bonds formed therein, describing it as a second family. As he continues to soar in his career, his resilience against kidney cancer remains a testament to his indomitable spirit and the unwavering support of a global community. Russell Boone, a voice for New York City's diverse communities. Russell Boone, a prominent and award-winning TV anchor and reporter, died on Sunday at the age of 48. NY1 announced. Boone had been battling pancreatic cancer for the past year. She joined NY1 in 2002 as a reporter focused on Queens and later moved to the anchor desk with a noon slot in 2021. Boone had a unique talent for connecting with New Yorkers both on and off screen. She was known for her coverage of New York City's diverse immigrant communities and significant events, including Superstorm Sandy and the protests following the killing of George Floyd. She was also present at major celebrations like the West Indian American Day Parade and the Times Square New Year's Eve ball drop. Boone had the distinction of being the only TV reporter at Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's primary election party in 2018. 
capturing the moment when the underdog candidate learned of her victory. Throughout her career, Boone was honored with multiple awards, including a New York Press Club Award for Best Feature Reporting and a New York Emmy Award for her series New York Unfiltered. After her cancer diagnosis in 2022, she took a leave of absence for chemotherapy treatments, but remained an inspiration to her audience and colleagues alike. Boone's tenacity and talent made her a trusted voice in journalism, leaving an indelible mark on the communities she covered. She is survived by her husband, Todd Boone, and two sons. Her legacy will continue to inspire those who knew her and the countless viewers who felt like they did through her impactful storytelling. Tribute to Rushell Boone. Steve Harwell, the voice of All Star and a generation's youth. Steve Harwell, former lead singer of the iconic band Smash Mouth, passed away on September 4, 2023, at the age of 56. The cause of death was confirmed as liver failure by the band's manager, Robert Hayes. Harwell died in his home in Boise, Idaho, leaving behind a legacy in alternative rock and pop music that touched multiple generations. Born on January 9, 1967, in San Jose, California, Harwell began his career as a rapper in a group called FOS, before founding Smash Mouth in 1994. The band found success with their debut album, Fush Yu Mang, featuring the hit song Walkin' on the Sun, which topped Billboard's alternative chart. However, it was their 1999 single All Star that catapulted them to international fame. The song reached number four on the Billboard Hot 100 and became an anthem for outsiders and underdogs. It found a lasting audience through its inclusion in various movie soundtracks, most notably the animated film Shrek. Harwell's voice became synonymous with the late 90s and early 2000s, a nostalgic touchstone for many. Despite health issues and controversies, including a 2013 diagnosis of cardiomyopathy and Wernicke's encephalopathy, Harwell remained a figure in the pop culture landscape. He briefly appeared on VH1's reality show The Surreal Life in 2006, and in 2021, he officially retired from Smash Mouth after a performance in upstate New York. Harwell is survived by his fiancée Annette Jones, a brother Mark, and three sisters Carla Crocker, Michelle Baroni, and Julie Harwell. His life may have been marred by health struggles and moments of public scrutiny, but the music he left behind, especially the evergreen all-star, remains a testament to his impact. Tribute to Steve Harwell. Marilyn Lovell, the resilient heart behind a heroic astronaut. Marilyn Lovell, who epitomized both the glamour and the trials of being married to one of America's most celebrated astronauts, died on August 27, 2023, in Lake Forest, Illinois, at the age of 93. She was not just the wife of Jim Lovell, the astronaut who commanded the historic yet perilous Apollo 13 mission. She was a figure of fascination in her own right, an embodiment of American tenacity, grace, and courage. Born Marilyn Lily Gerlach on July 11, 1930, she first locked eyes with Jim Lovell in high school, and their romance took flight like one of Jim's rockets. Over the years, she endured the uncertainties of being married to an astronaut, displaying unwavering support, even while grappling with the terrifying potential of becoming a widow during the Apollo 13 crisis. She was a devoted mother of four, and an inspiration to the American public. A woman who graced the pages of history books and earned a portrayal in Ron Howard's Oscar-nominated film, Apollo 13. Marilyn was the archetype of the astronaut's wife, a heroic figure who took the challenges of her husband's career in stride, sacrificing personal peace for her family's and country's larger aspirations. Her life was rendered into cultural memory through various media, making her a symbol of American strength and resilience. She maintained a loving, supportive home, 
even when her husband was millions of miles away in space, and she stood as a pillar of strength for her children during the most anxious moments of Apollo 13. She and Jim Lovell defied the odds, maintaining a loving marriage in an environment where many astronaut couples eventually divorced. The Lovells were a symbol of enduring love, exemplified by their four children, eleven grandchildren, and seven great-grandchildren. Marilyn Lovell will be remembered not just as the wife of an American hero, but as an American heroine in her own right, a woman who led a life of glamorous adventure under extraordinary circumstances, facing each hurdle with unmatched grace. Tribute to Marilyn Lovell Gary Wright, the dream weaver of rock and soul. Gary Wright, the influential musician and singer best known for his iconic hits Dream Weaver and Love is Alive, passed away at the age of 80 on September 4th. Wright was born in New Jersey and was a child actor on Broadway before deciding to study medicine in Berlin. However, music eventually won his heart. He first gained prominence as a founding member of the UK-based band Spooky Tooth, catching the eye of Island Records founder Chris Blackwell. Under his aegis, the band released two albums, It's All About and Spooky Too, which were critical successes that paved the way for extensive session work for Wright. His collaboration with the Beatles, especially George Harrison, was one of the most defining periods of his career. Wright played on all of Harrison's solo albums, beginning with the seminal 1970 work All Things Must Pass, and was a frequent collaborator with Ringo Starr as well. His friendship with Harrison was not just professional but also spiritual, as both shared an interest in Eastern religions and even traveled to India together. Wright's most significant commercial success came with his 1975 album, The Dream Weaver, which yielded two mega-hits that have since become staples of classic rock. The album's title track was inspired by his spiritual journey to India with Harrison. Although he couldn't replicate this success in subsequent albums, his influence never waned. His music continued to be covered by various artists, most notably Chaka Khan's rendition of Love is Alive. In his later years, Wright focused on instrumental and soundtrack work, made a memorable cameo in the 1992 film Wayne's World, and released several albums, the last being Connected, in 2010. He even reformed Spooky Tooth in 2004 and toured extensively, both as a solo act and with Ringo's all-star band. Gary Wright is survived by his son Dorian and leaves behind a legacy that stretches from rock to soul to spiritual exploration. His songs, like Dream Weaver, have transcended time and genre, offering both a musical and mystical experience to listeners. His indelible impact on music will continue to reverberate for generations to come. Tribute to Gary Wright. Lefty SM, a pioneering voice in Mexican urban rap, Juan Carlos Sauceda, better known by his stage name Lefty SM, was tragically shot and killed on September 2nd near his home in Zapopan, Chalisco, Mexico, at the young age of 31. The incident occurred around 10.50 p.m. when three armed assailants attempted to forcibly remove him from his home. After a struggle, they opened fire and fled. Lefty SM was taken to a local hospital where he succumbed to his injuries early the next morning. Born on April 12, 1992, in San Luis, Colorado, Sonora, Lefty SM discovered rap music while working in his father's auto repair shop. Known for being left-handed, the rapper earned his nickname Lefty from his close friends. He began pursuing his music career seriously at 16, while still working as a mechanic. His final performance was on September 1, 2023, at Teatro Metropolitan in Mexico City. Lefty SM became a significant figure in Mexico's rap scene after opening his YouTube channel in 2017, amassing 2.5 million followers. His 2019 album, Avion de Papel, made waves, and his patriotic single, Por Mi Mexico, 
released in collaboration with Santa Fe Clan, gained substantial acclaim. A remix of this track was his final release before his untimely death. The rapper had collaborations with other giants in the rap industry, such as Nedo Peña, Jerem X, McDavo, Tozer One, and Darius. His impact was such that his passing drew emotional responses from collaborators and fans alike. That Mexican OT, a collaborator from Texas, sent heartfelt prayers to Lefty and his family through a poignant Instagram post. Lefty SM leaves behind his wife Isa Mary and their two young daughters, Casey and Ciara. His ambition to venture into entrepreneurship and real estate remains unfulfilled, but his pioneering role in Mexican rap will be remembered for years to come. Tribute to Lefty SM. Faye Fantero, a briefly shining star with an everlasting impact. Faye Fantero, the up-and-coming British singer-songwriter and protege of Eurythmics Dave Stewart, passed away at the young age of 21 on September 2nd at her home. The cause of her untimely death was a rare and aggressive form of brain cancer known as glioma, which she had been battling for a year. Her mother, Pam Fantero, and her official social media channels confirmed the sad news. Fantero was no stranger to life's hardships, having survived leukemia twice at the ages of 8 and 13. Despite these trials, she remained an effervescent spirit, dedicating herself to her art. Both she and mentor Dave Stewart hailed from Sunderland, England, and their artistic partnership yielded the well-reviewed EP AWOL. Released in February under Stewart's Bay Street Records, the EP included a standout single, The Weekend, accompanied by a video filmed in their hometown. Stewart expressed profound sorrow at her passing, stating, She is one of the true greats, a northern girl on fire with her lyrics and melodies. I loved her deeply. Fantero once said, Life very rarely goes to plan, but the plan was always to write, sing, and perform, and I've been lucky to be able to do that. Her life may have been short, but Faye Fantero leaves behind an indelible legacy. The music industry and her admirers mourn the loss of a genuine talent, whose artistry will be forever etched in the annals of British music. Tribute to Faye Fantero. Joe Fagan, the musical voice of Off Wiedersehen Pet and Beyond, Joe Fagan, the legendary pop singer-songwriter best known for his theme song Breakin' Away, That's Livin' Alright for the British comedy drama Auf Wiedersehen Pet, passed away at the age of 83 on September 5th. His passing has left fans and co-stars devastated, with many taking to social media to share their thoughts and memories. Born into a world of music, Fagan became a significant figure in the British entertainment scene. His hit Breakin' Away, That's Livin' Alright, not only served as the theme tune for Auf Wiedersehen Pet, but also charted at number three on the UK singles chart in 1984. The song was re-released in 1996 when the series was repeated on Channel 4, affirming its enduring appeal. Beyond the British Isles, Fagan saw success in the United States with his single, Younger Days. He was also part of The Crowd, which released the charity single, You'll Never Walk Alone, in 1985 reaching number one on the charts to benefit victims of the Bradford City Stadium fire. To commemorate the 2006 World Cup, Fagan reworked That's Living All Right into That's England All Right, which became an unofficial anthem. Auf Wiedersehen, Pett told the story of seven British construction workers seeking employment abroad during the unemployment crisis of early 80s Britain. The show, and Fagan's music, captured the zeitgeist of the era and his songs have since become synonymous with the series. Fagan leaves behind a legacy that stretches beyond just one TV show. His music has touched generations and will continue to do so, immortalized through the medium he loved. As fans and co-stars offer condolences and share memories online, 
the collective sentiment remains. Joe Fagan's songs were more than just tunes. They were the soundtrack to a cultural moment. Tribute to Joe Fagan. Mike Williams, a meteoric talent in the NFL cut short. Mike Williams, the former NFL wide receiver known for his explosive plays, passed away on September 5 at the young age 36. Williams met an untimely end in a construction site accident, cutting short a life that was filled with promise and athletic achievement. Born in Buffalo, Williams' football career took off at Syracuse University where he led the team in receiving yards as a true freshman in 2006. Despite facing suspensions for academic and behavioral issues, his raw talent was undeniable. Drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the fourth round in 2010, Williams quickly made an impact. His rookie season stats were impressive, 964 receiving yards and 11 touchdowns, earning him a second-place spot for Offensive Rookie of the Year behind Sam Bradford. Tampa Bay was so impressed that they extended his contract for nearly $40 million in 2013, but injuries saw him play only six games that year. He then joined his hometown Buffalo Bills for a season and was last seen on the Kansas City Chiefs practice squad in 2016. Over his career, Williams played 63 NFL games and scored 26 touchdowns, leaving fans wondering what could have been had his career not been plagued by suspensions and injuries. At Syracuse, his 20 touchdowns are tied for second most in school history, along with Pro Football Hall of Famer Marvin Harrison. Williams leaves behind a complex legacy, a blend of raw talent and unfulfilled potential that will forever evoke a sense of what might have been. Tribute to Mike Williams. <laughs>